So you think should be assimilating things better? You can do that for here some fluids and be vitamins and more. Yeah. We were watching her closely the first few days of life, of course. We have cameras on in the stall. And we noticed that she didn't have a, a real drive to nurse. She wasn't uh, nursing as frequently and as long as she probably should. And so that's where we intervened to make sure she's doing okay and, and support her with calories as well as uh, fluid support. We create hand rearing plans just in case we have to step in and help the mom out a little bit. Unfortunately and fortunately, we were prepared because we had to implement this birth management plan because we noticed that the seal pup wasn't gaining uh, the appropriate amount of weight. Some people may ask, well, why don't we get the baby on a bottle? And, and we could try that, but what we've been told by experts is it's, for one, the lactation or the nursing period for these true seals is so short and it's, it's so difficult to get them on a bottle, especially after they are nursing naturally that it's much easier and more efficient and less stressful to just stomach tube them. So we, so we put that stick in her mouth with the hole so we can safely pass the stomach tube. She already has teeth, right? So um, that's why we use the stick. And uh, we pass the stomach tube and we're in and out of there in you know, two, three minutes. Keeper team is kind of like a pit crew when you watch them do this process. We, we want to get her stronger and we're hoping that this fish formulation we're using will work. You have to caution that in nature, you know, these harbor seal pups, you know, a percentage of them, up to a third, don't make it because of starvation, malnutrition, infections, predation, etc. So certainly in nature she would have had a really hard time. Uh, in a zoo setting where we could jump in and provide that support and supplemental feeding and fluid support, she has a chance. And so we're all rooting for her.